congratulations on your nomination for I Made It Out. I love that song. And I think especially right now in this right. day and time, it's a song that we need. So but let me say that that song, I think the song, what it does, it encourages your heart. And many of us know, like you just said, in this season of coming out, so many people made it. I did a remix to let you know a few, a go-go remix. And I tell the doctors and the nurses, everybody, those that are on the front line, this is going to be our anthem, amen, for moving past COVID-19. Absolutely. And it's it's a song that's not like, of course, you know, those who are diehard gospel, you know, any any religious belief kind of understands the song. But even for those who, who are not religious, they can listen to this song yeah. and really, really connect to it. So that, that's something yeah. I really like. I mean, I grew up listening, like my mom played Not Guilty when I was a kid. Literally, I was just on the phone with her and was like, mom, oh my gosh, guess who I'm going to be talking to? So like yeah. one phone call, like as a 12 year old kid, yeah. memorize that entire like parody. Right. 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 <laughs> so what, it, during this time, like a lot of uprises has been going on, a lot of, you know, protests, just a lot of emotions. How have your emotions been during this time? Uh, it, it caused quite a bit of things. I, I, when, when I saw um, actually George Floyd on the ground the first day, I saw, I saw it right after it happened that morning. And um, I can't tell you the place I went to. I'm a grown 58 year old man. And, and, and th that's pretty in check with my feelings, especially publicly. Mm -hmm. But I, I literally dropped a tear or two because it, it just did something to me. Cause we all know it could have been anybody. Mm -hmm. He's begging for his life. So immediately I wrote a song, you know, called Let Me Breathe. Um, we're gonna release it soon. It's me, Q Parker, and Zicardi Cortez, Tony Terry, Frank McComb, uh, all the, the heavy hitters, and um, Gene Moore. Um, um, just really reminding us that your breath is a God-given gift, yeah. you know? So, so it impacted me in a major way. Um, my music since then has been kind of edgy, you know, towards life matters, you know? Uh, and to know that Black Lives Matter, um, um, it, it, it's, it's more than a statement. It's more than a picket sign. Right. I have to give my sons the talk. John John's 23, pretty militant. You know, he got that edge on him. Trudell's pretty calm. He's 19. But I don't even want the intelligence of my sons to get them in trouble. You know, so we have to have that conversation. And we've had it for years. So I think it impacted me and many more, you know, in, in ways unimaginable. Yeah. And would you say that, I mean, we see a lot of the verses. We know you had one with Hezekiah Walker. And then we know also Kirk Franklin and Fred Hammond had one where a lot of people are tuning in. So do you think that those times where you're able, people are able to just kind of release and go listen to, you know, gospel legends literally go not toe for toe because, you know, it's a friendly gospel battle, but what? to just, you know, have that release of like that, I need God in this moment and this- Let me tell you something. And I don't know if your mama gave it to you or where you got it from. That's it, it's the release. I even have a song called Release. Yes. You know, give it to me. That's the miracle I've been waiting on. Release means more than just you gaining or getting. Release is you giving. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people came on the battles and literally said, Pastor Key, I wanna thank you because there's some things I, were, I was going through and I was able to release them. Mm -hmm. You know, hearing those lyrics, I first stated the logos, the logic, what the song really, not guilty for you to even mention that. Pro that project spoke volumes because it released the people to mm -hmm. know, you know, maybe I did something that was worse than Pastor Key. Maybe I didn't sell drugs or I wasn't in the hood of Double Oaks, but whatever it was, it was my release. So yeah, I, I get that part. Absolutely. And really quick, because I know we have to wrap last question. What does it mean to you to be nominated for a BET award, especially right now? Uh, to me, it, it means so much. I, I've stated and I'll tell you the joy of, it was almost like, and I've been nominated for everything from Doves, this particular project it, it did, did really good for me. But BET has always been special because BET has always been unapologetically black. I mean, I don't know if it's cool to say it, but I was, they were black on both sides of the fence. So it's like family. It was like my culture recognizing what I was commanded to do. So I'm honored, I'm happy, win, lose, or draw. I'm a fan for life.
Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. And thank you. Tell your mom, thank you for hanging out with John P. Key when you were a little girl. Yes, I definitely will. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you again. Thank you. Have a good one.